Do you want to know what it's like to work a whole week of nights and then on the Saturday morning only get four hours sleep? It feels like this. Like that. Good afternoon guys, how are you all doing? I almost said good morning there and then I looked at the clock. <laughs> I've been up since 11 and I've already walked Harley and put my washing on and I'm still debating on whether or not to put my shorts on because the sun keeps coming and going and there's barely a breeze. I actually went out with Harley in my hoodie. I ended up having to take that hoodie off. I don't know. <laughs> Why am I wandering about? <laughs> I just want to quickly talk about Twitter exploding over the past two days <laughs> and I think it's fantastic exploding because of what happened with Brooklyn Nine-Nine I don't know if you guys have heard I'm sure you will have but Fox for some reason because they like to cancel things cancelled Brooklyn Nine-Nine they said they weren't going to do a sixth season and suddenly everybody or almost everybody on Twitter was just like what are they doing what are they playing out and the amount of people talking about it just proved how popular it is and this morning just before I came home from work I read online that NBC have picked it up and I was like yes Fox have got a really bad history for cancelling really good shows I mean after the fifth season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer they cancelled it but somebody else picked it up for another two seasons I remember reading that they said that they were going to pick up Angel if they did the same with that However, they didn't, so when the fifth season of Angel ended and Fox said, oh no, we're not renewing, it just disappeared. And of course, the famous one, Firefly, they cancelled it before anybody had even seen it. And it's not just Joss Whedon shows, I mean, they did it to Futurama twice. After the fourth season, they cancelled it. And then some years later, they allowed them to do four TV movies. And then they brought it back again for a fifth season. And at the end of the eighth, bye. We don't want you anymore. Fox, they're just tapped in the head. But I'm happy NBC have picked Brooklyn Nine-Nine up. I really like that show. Anyway, moving on. I've got something I'm doing today. Namely, moving that out of the way. <laughs> but what I'm doing today, hopefully, at the moment the weather is right for it, is I'm gonna go to Joe and Pete's house with the tent and put it up to make sure it's okay. Make sure it's got all its bits. But before I can do any of that, I need to get the other tent out and get the pegs out of there because that's where they all are. And unfortunately, going in here... Yes, this is my box of... well, stuff. <laughs> the tent is down in the bottom somewhere, which means I've got to fish all of this lot out, which means I need to shift that first. Hence the coffee, because yes, I only had about four hours sleep. All week, I've been fine. I get home, I let Harley out, I empty my bag, I go to bed, like that, I'm out, I'm gone, straight away. This morning, however, oh no, 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 got in bed, and brains went. <whistles> yeah, it does that. Wouldn't shut up, and I'm pretty certain I was still awake by 7 o'clock, and I got up at 11, which might explain why I'm a bit dual-addily by whistling while I'm doing this. <sighs> Hopefully I've got the energy to get this tent up. So yeah, I've got a few things to do today, including having a shave. So I've had my shave and I've got the other tent out. Uh, look at this. So there's my old tent and in comparison to my new one, oh boy, that's definitely a lot bigger. But according to the measurements I've seen online, the new tent is only a metre longer than the old one. And I thought about taking both tents with me to put them both up to see what the comparison is, but I can't be bothered. It takes too long to put the other tent up. And I've noticed it's gone very cloudy. I hope it doesn't rain. So I'm here at Joe and Pete's house. And I feel like a right numpty. I've remembered everything. Ten pegs and what else. The only thing I didn't bring is his lead. So I've decided to make a, a makeshift one. See, this is always in the car. Basically, you pull that into the seat belt and that attaches to Harley. And I've got this... Uh, strap attached to that there so i've made a, a lead hopefully it'll work and the reason i've made the makeshift lead is because i've realized the other thing i've not done is have any food <laughs> i'm hungry so we're gonna go to the shops and get some 
food. I think I'm gonna have a sandwich. I'm just hoping none of these clouds are gonna be rain clouds. Oh, no, as soon as I said that, the sun has come out. Hopefully it's gonna stay out. Cause I intend to put the tent right here. After I've eaten, of course, I'm hungry. So the lead is working a treat. I've attached it to Archie's trike. Watch this. Ali, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> you got to steer it though. <laughs> It's brilliant pulling Archie. <laughs> Over here, Ali. Come on. Ali. <laughs> <laughs> and he loves it. <laughs> I think we've got a new favourite game. So now that I've eaten and put my hoodie on because it's a little bit chilly now, the sun's gone back in. Somebody's helping me out. He's just carried them for me. Yeah, he's very excited. And I can help. See, he wants to help. Yeah. I think he's more excited than I am. Check it out, the tent is up. It's been a pain in the butt and Joe's been helping. So can you imagine what it's gonna be like when I'm doing it on my own? The hardest part was these poles, trying to get it on the right uh, hole and, oh. And I've been having a lot of brain thoughts. For example, this door. I brought the zip all the way down to the bottom and I'm saying to Joe, why is it not coming off? Because that's, I saw it was off in the showroom. And she was like, well, don't you want to be putting the zips the other end? I'm like, oh. So anyway, already I've decided that I need to get some steps. I have a, a little step. But I'm going to need some like these just so I can reach the poles. Oh, and yeah, the, the hoodie. I took that off within five minutes. Saying that, it's taken less than an hour to get it up. In fact, it's not even an hour yet. The pegs have not gone in yet. Only the end ones, but that's how it starts. You put the end ones in on both sides and then you start pumping. Oh, and this were a nightmare to get in as well, this pole. It took both me and you. And then this one was even more difficult. I'm having a brain fart about this as well. For some reason, I can't undo it. So I gave up. <laughs> oh, so that's where my hammer is. Archie's been helping as you can clearly see and I like this ground sheet it's really cool it's attached to the bedroom uh oh troubles here can we help you <laughs> do you want to show the vlog the escape hatch how do you get out we'll show them the escape hatch through there are you coming out there he is <laughs> Excellent. I've already gone through it. But yes, there is a, another bedroom. It's currently laid on the floor there. I'm kind of thinking of putting it up just to see what it looks like. But <laughs> when we spread it out before we start pumping it up, Joe's looking at me like, Chris, that's a very big tent. And I'm like, yes, I know. <laughs> Shall we see what that other bedroom looks like? But yes, once I've got all these lines stretched out, the bedroom will open up a bit more. I'm very happy with it. It's a good thing that the campsite I've chosen allows for large tents. Ah, it's very big. What was I thinking? Oh no, Archie's gone to sleep in the other bed. Oh, well, he's not, he's awake. Yes, I've put up the other bedroom finally. It's a bit. Um, Quite a bit. <laughs> it's a bit narrow, <laughs> especially at the top. I mean, of course, when the tie ropes are on, it'll be a bit more wider, but right now it's. Yeah, that's the other bedroom. It'll not be up while I'm away. I'll no doubt have the, this wall open so this whole area is a bedroom for me and Harley. Let's go to sleep again. <laughs> what? You want to go to sleep again? Yeah. Well, you go in that bedroom and I'll go in this bedroom. You can leave the door open if you want. No, no, I, I'm going in this bedroom now. <sighs> right, I, I'm, I'm going to go to sleep. Oh, oh. And, yep, I'll is here. I have to say, I'm very, very happy with this tent. You like this tent as well, don't you? Yeah. So hopefully, in a few weeks time when I go away, I'll be able to get this up on my own. I was actually kind of worried that I might need my pegs from my old tent. This has come with a lot of pegs. None of, no rock pegs, just a lot of, let me show you. These size, right here. They're okay, but they'll not last too long. And I am noticing one thing. Is it? Yeah, let's go back in the tent. Oh, I hope he's pretending. <laughs> he 
it says it's going to rain. Now, there's one thing, I keep hitting my head on this. <sighs> or, or skimming it, should I say. Like that. But I'm not sure I'll be using this one that often, to be honest. I don't know. Because that'll not be there. And I'll have that door open. All right, the trick is now, can I get all of this back in its bag? I guess I'm going to find out. Oh, we've done it. I say we because Joe helped. Somehow we've managed to get it in there. It's not quite the same as what it was, but it's in. <laughs> and just in time, I think, because I'm sure these are rain clouds coming. After all that, I figured out the only thing I need is a stepladder. <laughs> but for now, I'm happy with this. I know one thing's for certain, I'm worn out. Well, I've timed that all right. 20 minutes after getting the tent down and it's raining. It's only spitting right now, but yeah. So glad the tent's down. Well, I found out why it's raining. The party people have delusioned themselves into thinking that they can sing. Ugh, that is really loud and annoying. But anyway, I'm uh, gonna sign off now. I have a feeling today's video is going to be a long one. Why am I orange? I just hope it's not as long as the last one. That took four hours, four to edit. I decided to see how much filming I had actually done throughout the day. An hour and a quarter. So I'll be thankful I whittled it down. Mind you, it was the thousand vlogs, so oh well. Anyway, I'm off, so I shall say thank you for watching and subscribing if you have. Until the next time, peace out. Um, it's that big, I've no idea where I'm going to store it. Maybe I should build a garage.